No smoke them, no sick on them, no have no pink or you bought them, yeah, you read. We a watch them a follow, we a lead them a pray and a grudge me for my meds. Ah, uh, them a search up for we fall in a dot, but I'm an anointed. I start out as a writer, yeah, from like age 12, I start writing songs. Yeah in primary school, yeah. Yeah, so I actually start flipping other artists' songs, such as Luton and Stitchy and, and Papa Son, yeah. and, and them people, uh, you know, I used to flip them songs, so instead of, instead of the song talking about them and their lifestyle, it's talking about me and my friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, their melodies but my words, yeah. so I start out writing like that, yeah, yeah? and um, it gets serious, it gets really serious because I realize that people love it. And, and in my community, in my school, people want to hear me do that every day. So I actually start creating my own melodies and my own lyrics. What area did you grow in and were there other artists in there at the time or sound system that gave you a little influence? Well, um, from Portland. I'm from Portland originally. You know, one of the nicest parish in, the, in Jamaica still. Yeah, originally I'm from Portland. So, um, of course, there's always a lot of sound system in every local community in Jamaica or me know about. And there's always a lot of artists. Talent is everywhere in Jamaica. Like every community you go in in Jamaica, you have 10, 15, 20 talent. Not a real talent. You understand what I say? So there's always competition where that is concerned. But um, me never mind it as a youth. Me used to clash enough on them things. Because that was the thing them time when Stitchy and Papa and them a clash then that was the thing. So we used to write be a class lyrics as little you may class some big man and I win them to one. <laughs> you understand me? So that's how me start out as a as an artist still. Yeah. Yeah. Level so in when did you start either performing with a sound system or getting work or trying to get into a studio? Well, I was still in school at that at that time. Yeah. So but I was still um singing and the community sound, like anywhere the sound string up me dead there and, and all our vibes and based on the fact that I know so me is a little artist from school, the whole community know me and have me as them star. So it wasn't a problem for me to DJ and any sound system. So I used to teeth out of the house because my parents not allow me to come out at age 13, 14. You understand what I say? So I used to have to teeth out of my house. My big brother take me out because my big brother love it too. Yeah. So you find out so because of the fact that so I, I have a brother who, who passed and gone, may his soul rest in peace. He love music just as much as I do, as a little youth. And he discover that because I, I have no one in my family that does music before me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know of that, you understand? So it's just a, a natural love when me develop for music. And my bigger brother realized the love when I have for music and him save and save and save and buy a little sound system just to accommodate me yeah because him don't want me to give up him want to make sure say me have something to keep me going at all times so him save him money and buy a little sound system and me and give me that for myself so you find out so you had a sound you had your own sound system well my brother bought a sound system yeah, so yeah. i could have access to a sound at all oh, so time. your brother was playing the sound yeah. All right, then you were DJ and do your and thing. I was DJ. Right. Yeah. What was the name of the sound system? Um, DT. His name was Desmond, and our last name is Thompson, so yeah, yeah. The, the sound is DT. All right, cool, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. With the lyrical thing you deal with, you weren't just listening to Lieutenant and Sticks. You had to be listening to a lot of culture music because you're a thing more social commentary. Yeah, but to tell you the truth, at that time, I wasn't listening to no culture music. Yeah. I was just listening to dancehall music. Like the Peter Mitchell, them and them kind of artists, there, as, as little youth, that them and them know. Me never used to listen to culture music. It's just a thing we develop after, after listening to music. After, after me get involved in the music, I mean, I listen to Stitchy and Papa Son and them people. And, and the love, I start write songs now. And artists are boss and yeah, yeah, different artists, different vibes, different melodies, different tone of voice and everything. And, and, and me I hear people like Bujo Bantan and them people. And it a wow me every time I listen. <laughs> yeah. and, and when Bounty Killer Boss, I mean, Bujo Bantan was a great, great impact, you know, in my life as a youth when Bujo Bantan just followed out and I sing 
them song them I sing Brown and all yeah. of them song that them yeah, kind yeah. of. But when Bounty Killer bus, it was it was a total different thing. Yeah. Every youth want to be a Bounty Killer. Because when Bounty Killer say, Peace. It's like you convince somebody just dead. You understand? Cold bump and everything. Like, you know, as a little youth, when I watch all entertainment report and say Bounty Killer for entertainment report over Riverton and them thing there. I like, it's a wow you as a youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand me? I say, buy this me, live a Kingston still. Yeah. You see, it's a wow me as a youth, so, you know, I want to be that. So, you know, we are go at it same way as DJ and everything. But here comes a bridge you now, name, Sizzla Kalanji. Yeah. When Sizzla Kalanji forward now, I'm going to listen to Sizzla is when I realize, say, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. No matter how much DJ I hear over the years, Sizzla changed my view where music and lyrics and melodies and everything is concerned. Yeah. Yeah. So Sizzla becomes my ultimate idol yeah. from them time there. Yeah. I want to do what Sisla Kalanji was doing at the time. And even before me become a Rasta, before me a wear turban and everything, I've been a sing conscious yeah, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exercise every day and I'm still not fit. I got my boss in 2007. Yeah. I mean, I never put on my turban until 2013. Yeah. You understand me? I say, so yeah, that yeah. just goes to show, say, even though we are do the culture music and everything, we still have the, the, the Rasta theory and thing, but we're not rush nothing because we're not just do it because this is somebody that do it. Yeah. We still are search because we want to make sure so we are do the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was that process like now when you start building in your craft to actually get in the bus with the song for 2007? Like, how did you even get the opportunity to start voicing in the studio? Well, of course, um, after, after the migration from Portland to Kingston, because that did have to go on, because I was still on other than them things. So they you moved really from Portland to Kingston strictly yeah. for music? Straight, like, from school to Kingston. Yeah. You understand me? I said, from reach of Kingston, I'm music more and do. Where were but you staying in Kingston, and how were you surviving? All over that the time? place. Like, yeah. We sleep all boat, yeah. just to survive, you know, yeah. all on the road. Yeah. You know, we're bridging, live round us, and we and we up on the road for the whole day, and we end up all, all we're bridging here, and yeah. you see me, I say, and just hold it out for the night and daylight, and you're cut and still there again, and you don't even show where you're going to sleep the next night. Eh? Yeah. And you understand me, I say, but we know what we want, and we're going to add at it, and we just know so we're going we're, we're to reach somewhere one day, because we have the talent that are the first thing. And that our people always identify as a, from me a little boy and just the music. That are the first thing people identify. As them hear me the first thing them say that you would have body name of talent. Yeah. So that alone is an extra joy for us. If so much people are hear you and I believe in you, then what going to stop you from reach? Yeah. Not, not supposed to stop you. So I just Thank you, you so much for watching. I never knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, share.